In a shocking incident, a Nepalese national was harassed in Varanasi by members of a fringe group today. This incident has resulted in Nepal's ambassador to India speaking with the chief minister of Uttar Pradesh, Yogi Adityanath, who has assured the safety of Nepali citizens in the state. The Uttar Pradesh authorities have taken cognizance of the situation and a case has been registered. Ties between India and Nepal have deteriorated drastically in recent weeks, despite the reality that India and Nepal share very close historical, cultural and religious ties. So why has Nepal, especially in recent weeks, decided to display such hostility towards India? On the basis of the Peace and Friendship Treaty of 1950, Nepalese citizens have the right to reside, work and even acquire Indian citizenship. Nepal has the right to use Indian ports for importing and exporting goods without paying customs duties. Furthermore, the Indian Army Chief is conferred with the title of the Honorary General of the Nepalese Army. While the Gurkha Regiment forms an inherent part of the Indian Army, but the vitiating atmosphere created by K.P. Sharma Ali's rhetoric has made life difficult for the Nepali community in India. Recently, K.P. Sharma Ali claimed Lord Ram to have been born in Nepal, and he has accused India of cultural appropriation. Contrary to popular belief, K.P. Sharma Ali claimed that the Ayodhya, where uh, Lord Ram was born, is actually located in Nepal. Later, a clarification was given by the Nepalese foreign minister that it was not the intention of K.P. Sharma Ali to hurt the sentiments of the people in India, but the cultural geography of Ramayana which still needs to be established through further research. K.P. Sharma Ali also brought about a constitutional amendment to incorporate the Indian territories of Lipulek, Limpia Dura and Kalapani as Nepalese territories. Now, all private Indian news channels were banned in Nepal except for the Durdashan with the allegation that they were running biased propaganda against Nepal.